So I got this cool thing. Hey Google, what time is it? 11.07. Uh, excuse me, I have you as a male voice. Hey Google, where's my male voice? Sorry, try asking again. Oh my gosh. Hey Google, where's my male voice? I couldn't find anything related to male voice. There you are. I guess I have to retrain you. Hey Google. Self-destruct. Self-destructing in three, two, one. Actually, I think I'll stick around. <laughs> That's funny. I know why, because I trained it more of a my monotone voice like this. But when I speak high pitch, like this, it doesn't recognize me. But I do have it as the male voice persona. Because I like the male voice better. This one's really cool. Hey Google, tell me about my day. Good morning, Liz. It is 11.08 a.m. Currently in Brandon, it's 78 and sunny. Today, it will be mostly sunny, with a forecasted high of 82 and a low of 62. Your commute to work is currently 16 minutes with light traffic if you take Bell Shoals Road and Boyette Road by car. By the way, it's the holidays, the season of giving. How the hell does it know Here's a where story that shows when giving, it's the thought that counts. It's from a veteran named Tariq, who received a gift while serving in the military. My grandmother would send me a fruit cake, but it was not my favorite cake. But my grandmother made it for me, and I, I appreciate it. When I got hungry, I ate it. You know what I'm saying? If you'd like to hear more memories like this, just say, share holiday memories. Have a happy holiday. Have a wonderful day. Here's the latest news. Resuming NPR news summary at 10 a.m. today. Thousands of passengers just days before the Christmas travel rush. Aviation consultant and former American Airlines executive Robert Mann says electrical reinforcements should have been in place. It is hard to believe in this sort of an environment that a major facility like Atlanta has no backup power capability of its own. And secondarily, that the, that the engineering of a a so-called redundant circuit seems to have no geographic diversity. Delta Airlines, which is headquartered in Atlanta, is bearing the brunt of the flight backlog. The cause of the fire has yet to be determined. Windsor Johnston, NPR News. The European Union is cracking down on what it deems illegal tax avoidance by major multinational companies. This time, the alleged culprit is IKEA. From Brussels, Terry Schultz reports, EU investigators believe a subsidiary of the Swedish furniture giant could owe millions of dollars in back taxes to the Netherlands. EU investigators want to know whether the Dutch-based Interestia has used tax loopholes regarding franchises to avoid paying millions of dollars. But the Dutch government is also under the microscope. It may be in violation of EU law against favoring some companies over others. A similar case has seen the EU demand Irish authorities get back some $15 billion from Apple which Ireland has resisted doing. Terry Schultz reporting. On Wall Street, the Dow Jones Industrials are up 197 points. Okay, Google. NPR. Cancel. Hey, Google. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, Google. Oh, by the way. Thanks. You too. Hey Google, tell me a joke. One joke coming up. Parallel lines have so much in common. It's a shame they're never going to meet. Hardy har har. Hey Google, cheer me up. So glad you brought that up. We can play a game. I can give you an interesting fact. Or you can go for some random fun. Random fun. Will do. Looks like you're in for a riddle. What are the only two things you can't have for breakfast? Lunch and dinner. 
Lovely. Okay. Hey Google. Play Chopin. Okay, check out this Frederic Chopin radio mix on Pandora. Hey Google, volume up. I'm not certain, but I think by touching it somewhere. Yeah, it does turn up the volume when you touch it too. I don't think that's Chopin. Hey Google, cancel. Hey Google, play Linkin Park. Sure, playing songs by Linkin Park from your Google Play Music library. has a really good bass on it, or a tiny speaker. Okay, Google, cancel, because I know when I put this to YouTube, when I post this to YouTube, it's going to um, be all like, oh no, copyright, you can't play that. Okay. Hey Google. Uh never mind. Apparently it can do everything. Let's um try Let's try some history. Hey Google, the history of World War II. Sorry, I'm not sure how to help. Oh. Um. Hey Google, what happened during World War II? Here's a summary from the website history.com. On September 1st, 1939, Hitler invaded Poland from the west. Two days later, France and Britain declared war on Germany, beginning World War II. Well, I'm still learning how to operate this thing. One cool thing I really like about this is it can be used as an ambient sound machine. Hey Google, play Rain. That song's only available for Google Play Music subscribers. But try this Google Play Music Rain station. No, no. Hey Google, cancel. Okay, let me rephrase that. Hey Google, play the sound of rain. Here's what rain sounds like. Hey Google, play the sound of thunderstorm. Here's the sound of a thunderstorm. Hey Google, play the sound of the ocean. Here's the sound of the ocean. Hey Google, play the sound of crickets. 
This is a cricket. Okay, um, I guess that didn't work. Um, hey, Google, cancel. Hey, Google, poop on you. Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. <laughs> yep. I give this a thumbs up. It's pretty darn cool. You can also make phone calls, too. Watch. Hey, Google. Call CVS. Just as a reminder, emergency calls aren't available from Google Home. And when you're done, tell me to hang up. Now, let's get started. Calling CVS on Bloomingdale Avenue in Valrico. Don't tell the address. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for calling CVS Pharmacy, located at 1010 Bloomingdale Avenue, corner of Gulf Shoals, okay, Valrico, Florida. Cancel. So I'm just wondering if you can also call anyone, but yeah, I guess you can. Whatever. Um, pretty cool. The other commands on thing are, well, we did tell me about my day. That's the news. You can remind you to, you know, for reminders. If it's hooked up to Chromecast, you can play things from Netflix. I don't have a Chromecast. Um, any music. Oh, that's language. Um, on the box it says, how do you say, how are you in Portuguese? Hey Google, how to say, how are you in Portuguese? Como você está? And then I guess it can hook up to the thermostat. And I also heard that it can turn on lights, dim lights. But I don't think I'm going to use it for that. I don't know. It was a cool gift. It is a cool gift. I think right now is, right now my favorite feature is the news feature oh another thing that's cool that it does that i really liked let's see if i'll do it again because i did it last night is that it can read you a story i can't remember the story it read me but it was really good hey google tell me a story all right here's the tortoise and the geese from story nori on google play the tortoise and the geese. It has been said that the city of Banaras is older than history. Many centuries ago, there was once a king of Banaras who loved nothing better than the sound of his own voice. He had lived a long time, seen okay, many Google. things read. Cancel. So it does things like that. Um, I also did this. It was pretty funny. Um, hey, Google, tell me a scary story. Have you ever heard the urban legend about the assistant that wouldn't help? <laughs> the story goes that there was this couple and they were at home. They wanted to see a movie at nine. So they asked their assistant to set a reminder. And the assistant said, no. I'm sorry. I get chills just thinking about it. <laughs> That's funny. But the one previous to that, the story one, it will read you an actual story. Which is pretty cool. 
I like it and it's just good to just sit and listen I guess whatever um, so yeah that's the Google Home Mini I like it I think it's awesome you can also have other speakers around the house and it's our version of you know Jarvis <laughs> I even asked him about Jarvis last night what did I ask you um hey Google are you like Jarvis Jarvis is a very advanced assistant it must have taken a lot of vision to create him That's not what you said last night. Hey Google. Are you Jarvis? Jarvis is a super intelligent AI, way smarter than me. But also he is fiction. Yeah, that's what it told me last night. Hey Google. I think you're pretty darn cool. You make me cool by association. So thanks. Hey Google. You're welcome. You're so polite. Hey, Google. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen. That's goodbye in German. <laughs> Adios, amigo. Hey, Google. Adios, amigo. That song's only available for Google Play Music subscribers. I would. But try this Google Play Music Adios, amigo station. No! Hey Google, cancel. All right. <laughs> I'm going to head off and thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. Adios, amigo. Hey Google, say goodbye. Sorry, I can't help with that yet. Uh, excuse me. Rude. Hey, Google. Goodbye. Au revoir. That's goodbye in French. I want my male voice. It's not recognizing my voice. Hey, Google. Goodbye. Take care. Okay, fine, fine. All right. Adios.